Microsoft and power provider Constellation Energy agreeing to a deal that will restart the closed Three Mile Island nuclear power plant by 2028. Joining us now for more is Mark Nelson, Radiant Energy Group founder and managing director. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, this story is fascinating on a number of different levels, but I want to start with uh, Three Mile Island because it is sort of such a notorious name in American history, the site of the largest nuclear disaster um, in the U.S. Are there any cons- I mean, in this, the, the stack that they're talking about restarting was one that ran until 2019 before it was closed. But what's involved with restarting and what needs to be done safety wise in this kind of situation? Well, there were two reactors. One of them melted. The other kept going for 40 years. The only reason it closed in 2019 is because fossil fuels were really cheap and the tech companies were using the fossil fuel power while claiming that they were using renewable energy from certificates in a different state and a different time. So they they were satisfied with the, the cheap fossil fuel prices and they refused to get in the middle of intervening to buy nuclear power to keep the nuclear plant from closing. And Mark, just taking a step back, you know, the, the demand for electricity for so many of the big themes, uh, the mega trends we talk about on this show, right? EVs, crypto, the AI boom, uh, and maybe not surprising to see headlines like this and, and the more interest in nuclear. Can you just help us um, maybe quantify that interest in nuclear? What are you seeing out there? Well, I'd like to think that the nuclear interest is only because it's a fascinating technology. That's why I got into it and studied nuclear engineering. I think a lot of the interest in the nuclear is because we're running out of other energy sources. We decided to make a lot of things electric, for example, New York banning electric stoves, but then New York also shut down its nuclear plant. So we're running out of power and we're realizing that if we're going to have everybody buy electric vehicles, we have to be able to charge it from power plants that run all the time. The the problem of course, well, nuclear has a number of issues traditionally, right, Mark? It's traditionally very expensive, even when you don't have, you know, the differential between fossil fuels and nuclear. There's the perennial concern about where the nuclear waste is going, right, and the whole NIMBY issue. There's building new plants, which uh, you know better than I, the last nuclear plant uh, that was built in this country in the South has not been, it was enormously costly regulations, et cetera. How do you overcome all of that? Well, look, the very best American design for a nuclear plant is being built in China over and over again for about four years or so uh, per reactor and about three billion. I don't think we're going to meet China's prices for building our reactors, but we could probably do a lot better building our reactors if we do it in series with the same design, the same plant layout, and we do it over and over. Fortunately, We've got designs that are licensed and ready to go today at existing nuclear plants that already serve tens of millions of customers. And those are the plants that are being approached by the data centers. So I think to get over this hump, we have to accept that we've got outstanding equipment ready to install. We've just forgotten how to do it and we need to do it the same way every time. I'm curious, uh, Mark, you know, the headline today, you know, Third Mile Island, how, how many mothballed reactors are actually out there around the country? I wish I could give you better news here, but um, there's not many. Only as recently as a few years ago, states like California and New York were desperately shutting down nuclear plants that we really needed. And now they're panicking because they don't have enough power. But fortunately, we were able to help step in. I worked at an environmental nonprofit where we fought to save nuclear plants from being closed by either the cheap fossil fuels or the environmentalists trying to destroy them. And we've saved almost all the ones that were going to be closed. So there's only a few closed nuclear plants we can actually bring back. And I've got my eye on several of them because we, we want to win those battles we lost in the, in the environmental world. Um, so here our focus is frequently on where can people invest in some of these trends, right? So obviously we already have seen all the power companies doing very well this year. We see them soaring again today, not just Constellation. Where is sort of the next frontier that people need to be watching if we're gonna to continue to see this growth in nuclear? I can't advise what people should do with their uh, stocks, but here's what I'll say what I'm doing with my time. So I'm trained as a nuclear engineer. I wanna see nuclear plants get built. I'm paying attention to designs that are already licensed in the U.S., and I'm going to see if we can't build some of those as soon as possible. I mean, I'm curious, Mark, what, what are the role of venture investors in this newfound interest and enthusiasm, excitement about nuclear? 
it's tricky. Additional place for venture nuclear was to help design a new power plant or a new design from scratch or revive an old design from the from the dusty books from you know 30, 40, 50 years ago at one of our national labs. I think that might be successful. I myself am an advisor to at least one of these advanced reactors, and I'm very keen to watch it and see if we can get it to succeed. I think it might. However, I think that we also need to build the existing ones. And fortunately, I'm an advisor to a company, the nuclear company, that is one of the ways that venture investors are getting behind the idea of being a technology deployer and developer rather than inventing new reactors from scratch. Mark, um, we should definitely continue this conversation another time. We got to leave it there for now. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.